now time for another David Bates lifestyle vlog. <laughs> to get ready yeah so i'm going to use this today original let's just get right into it this is like a face mask mud i don't know it's gone a bit hard let's see if it will go on yeah it's coming out it's got very thick so I'm just going to apply this for about 10 minutes. Put it on. And I'm going to get my outfit ready. So that is on. Like I said, I'm going to leave it on for 10 minutes. Can leave it on for half an hour. But I'm going out today. So... I've got to hurry up a little bit now. Then I'm going to put on this ordinary cream after. This is a vitamin C cream. So it's a suspension. So it would just keep the skin elasticated. Beautiful. Now I'm going to. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, I wanted my I got eyebrow pen. I bought a new eyebrow pen. So I'm going to use this today. Look. It's lovely. And um, I'm just going to get ready. I'm going to use this deodorant with my underarm. And also going to use this on my face and cleanse it with this. Oh, the lid's off. It's twins. So I'm going to use that today as well. So let's get on with it. After this comes off, I can carry on with my facial. I'm just going to cream my body with this. This is a body butter. I'm going to mix it up with this body butter. This is almond and aloe vera. So I'm going to mix the three together now and cream my skin. And now I've washed off the face, my, my mask, should I say. And to be honest, it's made my skin feel so nice and soft. I'm just drying it off with this cloth. This is a soft cloth. The soft cloth is beautiful for the skin. It's so gentle for the face. So I'm going to put this on now, original cream. Just a little bit, not too much. I don't need too much. I need some more. Oh, no, I don't want too much because it squirts up so quickly. So oh, put that on. It stings a little bit, but I know it's doing its job. It really makes the skin look more healthier. You can see the glow. And under the eyes. I'm just going to use this cream. I've been using this um, Rihanna um, Fenty Skin Butter Body. Is it? I always forget the name. It's a butter, butter drops cream. It's nearly finished. I've got to buy a new one. I haven't got around to it yet. And I want the um, body scrub as well. But I think, I thought it was £50 for one. I'm sure it was £50 before. Well, anyway, it's about £35 for one, so I'm going to buy it again because it's worth it. And I've had it for ages, and I'm going to buy, not today, I'm going to buy the body wash as well. Because I've got the face wash, and the face wash is fantastic. So I've used that on my face, it's just a little bit left, but a little goes a long way with some there. So I'm going to buy some more. I don't use it on my body so much. I used to, even though it's brilliant for the body... But you just end up getting through so much so quickly so i just use other creams for my body and just use this for my face because it is a very amazing cream i don't get no dry skin or anything and it's you just need a little bit you know i didn't show you me using these i've already used these two already 
so I leave that to the side and um, put these creams away these two away now so I've already got dressed as you can see so I've just got a grey top on with some combat trousers grey ones as well I think I'm going to try and find a belt to put on because they keep dropping down I wouldn't normally wear a belt with it I'm going to try and find a belt now I'm going to put this belt on now my trainers in the way i'm gonna put these trainers on as well today you can't see them they're just plain white night trainers and i'll put this belt on so the trousers don't keep dropping i got these trousers from h&m this top is from h&m but this one's old but the trousers are new I think I bought them last week. So let's see. Get this belt done out. This belt's a little bit tight. Let's see. It doesn't really go because it's a bit tight. I didn't really want to wear a belt. Eve decided not to bother with a belt because it just doesn't look right with combats. I don't know. So I'm just going to put my trainers on now because I've got to meet someone at two o'clock. I don't know if they're going to want to be recorded because people are funny about being recorded where I live. They're camera shy, some of them, not with them. So I'm going to meet someone. She's a singer and she plays instruments. She's lovely, yes. So she wants to do Christmas shopping, so I said I would come with her and help her decide. I'm not shopping today because I'm saving my money. It's good to save. Well, save, yeah, save. It's good to save, but it's also good to invest the money too, if you've got money to invest. You know, so you've got assets. So, but they say, like the rich people say, don't say, they don't, they're not going to save it. But if you're not rich, save your money. So, let me do my eyebrows quickly. I don't spend too much on, spend too much time on my eyebrows. Where's my brush? on my eyebrow brush. Did it drop on the floor? I'm sure I saw it yesterday. Nowhere to be seen though. I don't know if my little girl has taken it. I can't find it. It's not on my little girl's room either. So I'm just going to use my hand and buy another one. That's weird that it's just disappeared. So I just use my normal eyebrow palette. It's not run out yet. Go over my eyes, you know the drill. You know I don't really wear makeup anymore. I don't really put it on much. I do need to do a makeup video at some point. I don't think you can see me. Put you up a bit. And um, I've just chilled out a lot. Oh my gosh, that's come off again. What's going on? I don't... Oh my gosh, my zip's come undone. I don't try... What's going on? This is... Um... So, I'm going to do this now, put this on, it's easier with the eyebrow pencil I find, I just like more ease nowadays, 
want to be too complex doing makeup until I do makeup look and then I'll be more complicated so see simple so I love this eyebrow um, pencil it's beautiful I got it from TK Maxx where is the other one that I got I just had it I put it somewhere this is what I do I put things and this is eyeliner I haven't used it yet I find that eye, eyeliner pencils don't work very effectively. So I don't even bother with that. So let me take off this hair because I've done my hair last night. I've just done a protective hairstyle because I need to get my hair done again. I've got to phone the hairdresser. So I've just put my hair. I greased it yesterday with my hair grease. And um, just put it in two plaits. It's a bit frizzy there. I don't know why. I greased it, so let me um, put some gel there, maybe because I was itching my head. Let me find some gel quickly. Oh, oh. <sighs> there it is. I've got static in my hair. It's difficult when winter comes about because... It messes around with the hair, but I don't know if I've used a product that's breaking my hair, but I don't know which one it is. My hair is so funny. It just likes to break and it's not nice because I've been trying to grow it for some time. I know if I had it plaited up all at the time, it would have grown. My hair, I don't know. I've tried so many different products. I don't know. I just think that my hair just needs grease in it. Because my hair, my hair gets um, dry and I've used so many different products, you know, and I'm tired of it breaking off because it's messing up my growth, you know, and that's what I've been trying to achieve for some time. So I'm just going to be greasing my hair from now on and not wetting it so much either. And I'll start seeing more results. I need to buy some hair grease, but I'll buy it next week. Because I've got enough until then. And then these, um, I find these creams do not keep my hair moist. And it's sad because they feel really moist. The curly hair creams do not keep the hair moist for some unknown reason. It doesn't make one bit of sense to me. So, I don't know if I should do this side again. Anyway, I'm leaving my hair like this. This is how it's staying today. So it is already prepared. Get my size, edges. I don't really do edges really. I'm not, I'm not a pro at edges. They never stay in place. And I don't want to use the hard gel because the hard gel ends up breaking the hair. Don't want to have bald patches in my hair now, do I? That's done. See, it's a simple style. I like my hair like this as well. I'll show you my outfit in a minute. I've got to be somewhere for 2 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock now, so I'm early. I've still got to have my breakfast. I didn't eat the fruit yet because it was too cold. But I showed you in the beginning. So I'm going to have my fruit now. I've done my face. Done my eyebrow. My hair was already done. I'll, I'll repat it later. It is sticking out a little bit there. But never mind. So let me show you the outfit. So this is the outfit. I just put a pair of white trainers on like I showed you. And I love these trousers. It does need a belt to be honest. But I've got to find the right belt for it because normally these trousers don't wear a belt, but they keep dropping down. So this is it because I've tucked in the top and it's a simple grey top. Nothing, you know, too over the top. 
money going to the shopping centre. But I love these trousers that they got the pockets. I think they're lovely. I love the colour. I love the fit. It's just a perfect fit. Apart from a little bit being a little bit big. Not, not that big. But yeah, I love the outfit. It's very, very nice. You know, I think I've lost a bit of weight. That's what I think has happened. But it's all good, isn't it? So nice and casual. So now I'm going to have my fruit. So I've got some orange here. An apple. I'll just eat all different fruits in the morning. Doesn't matter what it is, so long as it's fruit. Mm. So oranges, good for vitamin C, obviously. So I try and eat a lot of oranges now, though. So I've fully gone plant based now. Excuse me. I have been eating a lot of plant based food throughout the week, so I'm very happy with myself. I get hungry though. I notice it doesn't fill me up, but I'm trying to find snacks. So, what I have to do is look at some plant based recipes. So, I mean, plant based desserts. Because I find I want some sweets because I'm not eating sweets. I had a little bit of chocolate yesterday and I didn't like it at all. So I've got a chocolate, so I'm going to look up plant-based desserts. And start eating plant-based desserts. So I've also got spinach and lemon and honey in here. This drink tastes so nice. So I make it up. I do a whole bag, or well, half a bag of um, spinach. Mix it with water and then honey and sometimes lemon. But honey and spinach taste beautiful. You can taste the spinach more. And give it a little bit of sweetener with the honey. It tastes beautiful, fresh. And I put it in the fridge. And then I'll take it out of the fridge, leave it for a couple of hours. I sometimes even leave it overnight and get up in the morning and drink it. And it still tastes cold. And it tastes fantastic. So I make up a week's supply of it and it lasts. Because I thought I have to make it up like every three days. But I've been doing it for five days. And it still tastes fresh. And I've got one more in the fridge. And I made up, I'm sure I made up five of them. And I've been drinking it every day. With, and I have prune, one glass of prune juice as well in the morning and a hot drink. So they say you're meant to drink about seven drinks in the morning. But I just maybe, so that's about three that I drink. That's enough for me. Anyway, I want to show you the hair grease that I used in my hair yesterday. So it's this one. This is um, black castor. Hair food. This is an excellent one. It's really run out, so I have to buy another one. I've had it for a long time as well. So this is excellent for if you've got dry hair or if you suffer from breakage like me. And I've got this one. This is avocado butter. Excellent. Got this from eBay. Still quite a lot less. It's a small one. I don't know if I've got a big tub. I think I've got a big tub as well. So I use that in my hair. This is excellent for hair growth. And I also use this cocoa nut oil as well for my hair. So get yourself some good greases for your hair. It's worth it. And you need to grease your hair maybe every two to three days. Get put that good old Vaseline on the lips. So anyway, my evening consists of massaging if i can't do it in the morning i do it in the evening I'm, i've been finding massaging my neck 
has been a benefit to me. So I've been doing massaging with this geisha stone. Forgive me if I said the name wrong. Every single morning. I've got this big one as well, but I'm, I'm finding it's not as effective as I thought it was. But I do just like do a massage. Let me bring it up. A massage on my side. Massage my side here. And massage my side with it. And you can do this sitting down as well. But it is more effective sitting down. So I do want to stress to people to give themselves a neck massage. Because I'm, I, I didn't even notice. When I was doing the massage, like here, I've got a pain in my neck right here. And I've been going over it with this piece of the stone over and over again. And you just don't realise how much tension you store in your neck. I don't think people really realise. So it's a good massage tool for your whole body, really. I do have a video about it. And getting to understanding about these stones. So right here, so I'm going to have to keep massaging it over and over again until all the tension is released. Because it seemed like I must have had tension here for some years and not realising it. And it massages other parts of your body because I'm finding if I'm massaging here and it's massaging here and it's massaging my side as well at the same time so I just wanted to show you this randomly I hope it's helpful I have shown these stones before but when I get new results I like to share right there it's a pain oh Give yourself a massage and even if it's painful just do be light but the pain is showing you that it needs to be massaged basically until the pain eases up and i think this is going to take because it's a knot in my neck and the knot has not released yet and i've been massaging it for about three days now so it's easing up it's not as bad as it was but it's an area that needs TLC, you know, but it feels good. I don't mind the pain because I can take, I've got a high pain tolerance, fresh pain tolerance, if that's what you call it. Some people can't take pain at all right there but i just gotta keep going over it and over it and then give it a rest and come back to it like there as well i can see and just keep massaging see and i can feel my side digesting so it's a good health tool very beneficial these geese it's not just for the face it's for the neck it's for the whole body. You can do your arms as well. I'll probably do another video about it another time. But these are powerful tools. Anyway, also, I have been writing a lot more. So I've been writing about the type of life that I want to have. And I do it when I get up. And I do it when I feel led as well. And I just find it that it's very helpful to write about the sort of life that I want. Because if you haven't got the life that you want already, it's like you find yourself maybe waiting around for it. Or um, not believing that it's going to come. So if you have that issue, then writing about the type of life you want really, really is beneficial. So just get a simple notebook. Just write anything. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just go for it. Just let it all flow, you know. This is something that I want to give everybody. It's something that is a must to do because it just helps you not overthink things. It helps you to believe in yourself more. It gives you confidence within yourself to know 
that what you want will come to pass. So I just want to share that with you and just get right in. Just write it. Do not hold back. Do not think that it's not going to happen. Don't limit yourself because you may have limiting beliefs within yourself. Don't limit yourself. Anything that you want, write it down, no matter how big it may, may be. You know, not, even if you don't have the confidence for it already, you're fine once you write it down. That is your power. That is your magic. Once it's written down, you've done it. Okay? And just keep doing it. And the more you do it, the more you'll see what you've written down come into your life and the more confidence you would get. And the more you write, the more confident you would get as well. I find it such a powerful technique writing down just the way you want your life to be. And you may not get everything on paper on the first day. Every day may be a different day. Or you might keep writing the same thing down over and over again. That is fine. Just do you. Be free in your writing. Do not limit yourself. Don't limit yourself because there is power in pen and paper, I'm telling you. There is a lot of power in writing. Let me sort up this bag and see if it's sorted out. I forgot everything. I'm early today. I can't believe it. I was looking for this lead. No, I was not looking. I was thinking about it. There it is. I'll bring it upstairs in a minute. I've got my charger. That's fully charged. Don't need that unless my battery runs out on my phone. Don't need that hat. Get rid of all the rubbish in it. Got some wipes. Always handy to have wipes. Got my purse. I don't think I need anything. I've got my ear pods. I don't think I need anything else. I need my Vaseline. Let me go and get that. It's over there. My Vaseline. Lips get dry. I need my book as well. I'm reading this book at the moment. This is How to Create and Sell Digital Products. It's not really giving me what I want, but I am learning something from it. So, but it's quite, it's okay. It's, it's not too bad. I got these earrings in my bag. Don't need them. I'll bring them upstairs in a minute. So I think that is it for the bag. I just have to put my phone in it, but I can't because I'm on it. I haven't transferred to my camera yet still. But I'll get there. I'm gonna wear this hat because it's raining outside. It's a simple black hat. And um I'm gonna go now. So Put this hat on. I don't really want to wear a hat, but it's cold outside. I'm going to put on my long jacket today. I hope I'm going to be warm in this because I've only got this thin um, hood and neck on. And this coat, I haven't worn it since last year so it should be okay nice long jacket Just button down. do this button up I'm not going to put a scarf on because it buttons up quite nicely so this is what it looks like this long, nice, fill hat, yeah, with my bag, and put my bag on as well, and let's go out, simple, it's got a little hood I can put up, I need my gloves. I have to go and find my gloves. I've got my gloves, found them. I've 
got a leather pair somewhere, but I don't know where they are. I just put them in different coats, then I can't find them. So anyway, let me go now, it's time to go. So now I'm at the city centre. I don't know if I should take off my hat. Might as well. And um, I'm early. So I'm just waiting for my friend. But it's better to be early than late, isn't it? Oh, I need to go this way. And it's beautiful up here all of the time. So I'm just having a hot drink. My friend doesn't want to be recorded, so I've just got to respect her wishes. So I just got myself um, some McDonald's. I'm not supposed to eat it in pasta. I don't know how I'm going to eat it because um, 
I should leave me alone. People always eat alone, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See how I get on. Just take it out. Take it out. I just got a vegan burger. So I really have vegan burgers from McDonald's. And there it is. And the chips. So I'm gonna eat that right now. To cook, so I'm going to use coconut oil. This is what I cook with, don't use anything else. So I found this tofu scrambled egg, so I'm going to use this. It's really nice tofu scrambled egg, it's an amazing idea. Thank god. I've got these plant based burgers, love them a lot, really nice. And I'm going to have these wheat, this wheat and corn tortillas. So let's get started. Oh yeah. Look at my hair here. I don't know what's happened. Right, let me put this in. Because I need it as my oil. I think I need a little bit more. No, actually that should be enough. Because making this, this, I already had some of it and it's really nice to be on it. It's got homemade scramble with black sauce, organic. I don't know what the ingredients in it is. So it's melted now. Put it in. just going to have all of it, even though it's going to be too much, I'll have some more later. And then it goes into proper scrambled already, oh look, look at that, I don't know how they've done it, but it's such a good idea, tofu scrambled eggs. I'm so impressed with it. Look at that, looks like proper scrambled egg. Doesn't it look like proper scrambled egg? And it's just the colour of scrambled egg as well. So I would be, but it's a bit like, it's, it's cost about, um, I think it was about £2.50 for this. And it's not, it's not, you don't get much from it, you get about two, you can probably squeeze it into three. Breakfast is. I'm not having for breakfast, I'm having for lunch because I was meant to have this for breakfast. I want to put one burger. Oh, it won't come undone. One burger in the oven. They're stuck together like glue. So the burger's on for 15 minutes. And um, I'll put these on in the next, it only takes about two minutes to one minute. You should probably pop, should have it on for about one minute when the oven's hot. 
So my egg is done. I have thoroughly cooked it. Let me show you. It tastes like you've got to have sauce on it. It, has, it doesn't have much flavour. You can add seasons to it. I added seasons to it, but I'm going to put this on. These two sauces. I love these two sauces. They're my best. So I will be adding them. Them, I mean. Let's get a plate. Let me go and get a plate. It's dark in here. Let me get a plate. Down here. Mm. You can't really see much, but I don't know. Because I always use the same. Do you know what? I only use this plate all the time because it's easy to get to. Sorry about the darkness, but I couldn't bother to put the light on. So let me just use this plate. That will do. And I need a glass. Actually, I want to, no, I'm going to have prune juice because I've got some green um, spinach drink in the fridge, but I'll have that later. And I'm, I've got to cut some melon. The thing is, I'm sport for choice with food at the minute, so I don't know what to do, what to drink, what to eat at the moment because I bought a variety of foods. <laughs> to eat so I'll just put that back I think I've got too much prune juice because normally I have half a glass and I've been having my colon cleanse tablet they're very good and my vitamin D's we need our vitamin D we need to buy some more so I just have to wait for my burger to cook a bit. It's only on for 15 minutes, it's not that long. So I'll just leave that for now and then I'll come back and put the tortilla in. So I've made the burger, I'll show you, it's done. And I'm just going to put this in the oven now for, I'm not even gonna leave it in there for because it cooks so quickly. But this is good, wheat and corn tortilla. So I basically just wet it, because it's good. Just give it a little bit of a hand wet. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven. That's it. So leave that for a little piece. I better warm up the egg, because it's got a cold. But it's not egg, tofu. Tofu scramble. Let's put this away. And that is that. Oh yeah. Warm it up nicely. You can put a bit of pepper on it and a little bit of salt, I suppose. And make a plant based simple, okay? So that's my lunch. Nice. So I remembered to show me doing my hair. So I'm just going to take it up because it needs doing. It's looking healthy because I have been taking extra care of it. So look, that's how it looks at the moment. It's coconut oil. I'm just going to put it on the bits that I feel needs it. I think it's the top bit. Most of my hair is moist. I just need to put some more oil at the ends. 
of the hair and just run it right through the hair. I like to finger comb my hair because it's much more gentle to my hair. And I'm just going to part the hair and oil the scalp. I'm just going to do a big chunks today because I oiled it yesterday but because of the flyaway hairs I wanted to oil that part again this part to just keep it dry free this oil now this is Jamaican Castor. I mean, what is it? Is they call it Castor? Jama Black Castor Oil. Yeah, that's the right word. And put that at the end as well. Because it needs it. And put some up the top as well. These oils are very good for my hair. And... I'm not going to be wetting my hair so much anymore. Um, I'm going to use this avocado grease as well and run that through my hair. Mainly the ends because the ends need the most protection. And this is what I do. I generally do it every three days. Because I have my hair in protective styles mainly. And I'm going to put some right at the front of the hair as well. I've also decided on an outfit tomorrow. So I'm happy about that. And I've just got to steam iron it. So put it at the edges, the cream. This avocado grease is amazing. Look at the shine to that hair. Look at the difference. And if you've got afro hair, you must make sure that you oil the ends. So, yeah. This is how I do my hair. And the greases that I've got are very good for hair growth and hair protection. From any type, oh gosh, got a knot in there. From any type of breakages, you know. So I'm gonna make sure that this is how I do my hair because I'm just putting the coconut oil on the top again. If you can see, just up the top here, because. The break had some breakage, little bits at the top, and they felt dry as well. So, probably static hair. Put that there, and then finger comb my hair. It's just better to finger comb it rather than comb it with a comb. It's, just, it's still the same, it still gets combed. Like I said, it's just more gentle on the hair and again use this Jamaican castor oil right. run it through the hair first of all put it on the ends of the hair And I know I'll see a humongous difference. The curly, there's so much dead hair everywhere. The curly products are not keeping my hair moist. And I put a lot of curly products in my hair. Just put in the avocado grease at the front. The avocado grease is lovely. It's just so nice and smooth. I'm going to put some at the end. 
I think I've got a big one upstairs. I've even got that all sheer, but I've got one big, I think I've got a couple of, I don't know which one. And I've got abrogated herbs where I make up my natural hair products, which I haven't done for a long time because my hair was in goddess braids. So, um, and then I had a wig on, so I didn't have to do my hair too much. So, this is how it looks lovely just gonna cut a little bit more at the end there's a lot of um, dead hair coming up and put some more at the ends and just saturate it because it's in a um, protective style it doesn't matter how much I'm putting in at the moment the more the better for me right now especially at the ends keep those ends oiled so protected and then like I said just pat it oh I still got my curl look so it's okay and I can have it out like this as well so and what I'm going to do is give my hair a hot oil treatment more than likely next week and that's what I do and then my hair will be ready for tomorrow I'm not very good at plaiting, I wish I was but it's something that when I was growing up I wasn't very interested in. I was interested in having it out curly. And they used to have much better gels back when I was growing up. Now, I don't know what they've done to the products, but they're not as good as they used to be. So uh, that is done. So I can just get up and go. As I say, wash and go. Grease and go and put in protective stuff. I could put a wig on, but I'm quite liking this hairstyle at the moment. I do need to do my part a bit more neater. And I'm due um, another wash, hair wash as well. So I'm just going to finish off put some more avocado grease over the top make it a bit more neater just got this hairband and just twist it back put the hairband back down to the bottom as well twist that at the back and put it in a bun back so it's nice and neat and that's it and I just put my headscarf on I can have some edges I could do that tomorrow the edges make it more neat than tomorrow the edges and that's it simple things you can put some little edges down as well and that's it done my hair is done and i feel much better when my hair is done it feels so much more cleaner to me love doing my hair so that's that make sure you cream your hair got afro hair look after it because if you don't grease it it's gonna break and get trims if you've got dead ends because if you don't get the trims or and give it um, a treatment as well which in the next video I'll show you my treatment
that's an outfit I'm wearing today. I'm not wearing these trainers though. I'm going to wear some boots. I'll show you the boots in a minute. So this is the dress. Simple plain black dress. I'm going to wear these boots when I get there. I'm not going to put them on now. I'm going to put them in my bag because I just don't feel like putting them on. And I'm wearing this jacket. Nice and warm. So I'm ready to go. So I've got 45 minutes until I go to the event. So anyway, I'm doing some writing today. I do it every day now. It's sticky on the table. So I'm going to get on with it. So I'm going to write now. I write about how I want my life to be. I was speaking about it earlier because it just helps me. My eyebrows, look, that's one's thicker. It just helps me distress, basically. And it's also a manifesto. So what you write about, it will come into your future and it does work. I've done this before, but I stopped and too much things were going into my head so if you want that perfect relationship, write about what relationship you want, want more money, write about it. Every day you're supposed to do it. And when you feel led, because like I might write in the morning and then I might write in the evening. And I'm finding that it's helping me and not all of the thoughts are going into my head. So let me get on with it now. So I've come back from the, the business network. It's, it was sort of like a networking workshop. It was really brilliant. I was so impressed with it. And it helped me to see a little bit more, not too much more, but these people have got a base that I can go to. They have events there, they have networking. It seems like they do a lot of things there. They have education in business. It's all to do with business. So. The man seemed like he can help me grow my business. And it's, it's an established space. He said I can even go there and work down there as well. And they've got a lot of services there. But they said they want to create the place into a university where people study. So I don't fully understand their whole vision. But at the moment, he's told me about a lot of businesses business um, resources basically so I can get help in developing my business and um, hopefully register in it but we'll see because you have to make the money if you've got business isn't it but basically I learned a lot and I spoke to a lot of people and network and um, I just think it's my confidence because I am an event planner and I have to know that I'm making enough money in order to pay my bills. I'm telling you all this just in case you're interested in business and you do need to be around people that understand business. So if you have like a centre, a business centre 
go to it. Don't just rely on people that you know or friends or family or just rely on online. Don't try and stay in business by yourself because business can be stressful because you haven't got the right knowledge or a mentor or a business advisor. You have to have business advisors and you do. it would be good if you had a mentor but um, they're not very cheap mentors. So I found a centre that I can go to. This guy was just in a taster course business course and I'm so grateful so next Wednesday I'm going to be going to I think it's an event I'm not quite sure what day so you can do one-to-one -one sessions with him as well so I'm going to book a one-to-one -one session with this guy so I can go as often as I want no matter how many times he said that's what they're there for so I'm very grateful I found the space. So I've got just got to build on my confidence to have a one-to-one -one session because I feel, I feel he wants to help me build this business because um, I don't want to go on about it too, too much because it's something I haven't really spoke about on here because I haven't seen the audience that I want on social media but um, I've had a lot of opportunities in the community and I've had a lot of attention in the community but I didn't take that opportunity up so I'm gonna because I'm, I'm, I don't want to talk about the business too much until I'm I'm clear, I know what I need to do, but I need to take more action and step out there more, basically, that's what I'm trying to say. And um, I'm not scared to do it, it's just that um, you just need to know, it's not even the structure, I know everything about the business inside and out. It's like when a lot of people come in, I tend to get overwhelmed and I've had this problem a lot of my life like if anything gets too big I end up shutting down and hibernating and running away from the attention that's what my problem is I think I've got um, is it I think it's, it's not anxiety it might be anxiety. I don't know what it is, but I do get anxious um, if I get too much of ten attention. And I never knew I had this problem until I started doing um, events. And I used to hide. I would hide. I didn't. I wouldn't like to get too much exposure. So I had to go and see a therapist, and I'm still doing therapy now. And I had. A, I get breakdown. I had a breakdown because of it getting too much attention and it's something to do with my past you know and it's really really odd really really odd so I'm getting therapy for that now and then I, um, I don't obviously I'm still trying to understand what the issue is and I'm hoping it doesn't happen to me again because I, I got a lot of attention and a lot of people were, in, a hell of a lot of people were interested in what I was doing. Just kind of kept having breakdowns. And it's just not explainable to me, even now, why it, it was happening. But I think I'm, I'm just going to take small stepping stones and having, and being, and I'm feeling sure, I wasn't sure of myself as well, what I was doing if it was right because everything just seemed like all over the place because i'm trying to choose my words carefully but this business advisor the way he spoke was more because he's a teacher but i have done business teach courses before but the way he was talking was much more friendly I don't friendly. I, I I understood what he was talking about more. It made more sense to me, 
and it was a hell of a lot more interesting as well so I believe this time I'm, it wasn't a dead end to, for me today because normally when people are talking about business I get, I'm really bored I wasn't bored with this guy very very interesting so I found the business centre I can go to like I've said and I feel very hopeful about it because um, I've had a lot of dead ends when it comes to but then again, I'm going to be honest truth. I wasn't interested in business. Business was boring me. It was boring. The way they were talking, they just didn't make it exciting. But the way this guy brought some forms in, and there was it was so interesting the way he was talking. There was still no order in the business. I couldn't see no order. It seemed like it's all over the place. The way they want you to structure your business because in business you have to have sales, isn't it? You have to have enough money to cover your bills. Without you, enough money, you can't really have a business unless you've got very really wealthy parents to cover you or you've got savings to cover you, obviously. But if you haven't got no money, obviously you can get funding and what have you. The guy was very vague on the funding part of it. And I find when people talk about business, they're very vague when it comes to talking about the money. And you have to talk about the money in order to fund the business. So um, I learned a lot about myself today and how much I know and learning how to believe in myself more. So I'm not gonna talk about it much more, but we'll talk about it a bit more because obviously, this is something new that's come up, so it could take another year for me to really understand what I'm going to do because I've had to wait a long time for this because I've been here where I live for a long time and I haven't established this type of connection before. So it's looking more hopeful to me because I'm building some called Unity Entertainment up and coming artists and whoever comes forward but it's for more of a positive music entertainment there's lots of um, negative music out there and I really want to stare towards more positive lyrics positive imagery and to come from a different angle because we've heard all the negative let's see what comes up with positive music because I know there's a lot of people out there that just don't want to hear all the gangster type lyrics all of the time so that's enough about that and then we've got Diva Glitz as well but I'm more interested in unity in the way of business Diva Glitz can stay on social media for the time being but unity entertainment and I want to put on stage shows. Well, I am going to be putting stage shows on at some point for Unity Entertainment. So I'm having an organic tea. And I'm reading and writing. I was just speaking to my little boy as well, which was good. This place is so peaceful and nice. So I'm just doing some writing because some ideas have been flowing. And I'm gonna read my book. So to be honest, I'm gonna be ending the video here because I couldn't film before I go. I couldn't film in the um, event because of, it, of of other people are there and I have to get permission from everybody so sorry about that but I will see you again this camera is dirt that's not working that's better it's cleaner now so I'll see you in the next Diva Blitz Lifestyle.
video. Remember, try and live your dreams. If you do not know how to live your dreams, get someone to explain how you can get there. There are plenty of people out there that can support and help you. There are a lot of books that can help you as well. There are lots of issues when it comes to knowing about how to make your money because you have to pay your taxes and you have to understand your financial forecasting. You've got to be good at delegating your money and knowing how to make more so you don't run out and saving to pay your taxes and also knowing how to grow your business so get your advice make sure you do your writing to place everything in its right boxes don't overthink things take action don't think everything has to be perfect you will make mistakes because you're always learning and there will always be loads to do always but that loads is your future not everything can be put in place straight away you have to just break your goals down put everything in order you could have a one-year plan in your mind so it's not for you to try and take on everything in a short space of time that is meant to be one year of work so when it comes to business you can very easily get overloaded and a lot of people burn out in business because their list is very very long but what they haven't done is project how long they are seeing and sometimes your projection could be a five-year plan so it's excellent to do a business plan if you can't do a business plan yourself get the professionals to help you because business plans are very easy to do and make sure you know how to do your financial projections because if you want that money, you have to foresee that you've got that money. It's very easy to make money, but you've got to write it down and you have to believe that it can come to pass. Because I know how to do it, but I just haven't been 100% well enough to. Because obviously, like I said, I kept having breakdowns. But put your financial projection in place. Don't limit yourself and don't think to say, well, no, it's not going to happen, da, 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 da. Listen to money affirmations if you have to as well, because that will help you, and they do work, money affirmations. And just trust in yourself and know that everything's going to be okay. You might have been brought up in poverty, but that won't stop you from making your money. That's not, you know, there's plenty of people that have been brought up in poverty and um, they're now multi-millionaires. Multi Some are billionaires as well. So that's not something that can hinder you if you've never had much money. That's not a hindrance. You've just got to get rid of your money blocks. And doing um, money affirmations will help you get rid of <coughs> money blocks. But it will take some time. So just believe in yourself. So I'm going to go now. Please like and subscribe and share. I hope this video was of value to you. And let everybody know about the Diva Gliss Lifestyle Channel. Because I go, you go, we all go together. You go, I go, we all go together. And this channel needs to grow. Love you all.